and welcome to Andy's Cornish Creations. In this video we're going to be turning the, uh, putting a little face on the sphere that I uh, turned on the last video. So I've got the sphere in the jam chuck and uh, I'm just getting ready to turn one of the eyes. You can put the first eye more or less wherever you want to and, uh, and you can make it whatever size you want. Uh, uh, so I'm making the hollow that the eye is going to fit into. Um, so I'm probably make it about three quarters of an inch to an inch. As I say, you can make it whatever you like. I'm making this one slightly larger because it's an owl and I tend to think that uh, an owl will probably have uh, slightly larger eye sockets, so at least the appearance of them. So now I'm just measuring the size that I've um, I've done with the with the calipers. I'll put a little point in the centre there, so that when I come to drill it, I've got a nice little point to go into, because I will be dr drilling a hole into the centre to uh, to fix the. A little turned eye into. Uh, sanding it up, I can sand it and finish it at this point um, because it'll be difficult to uh, to get back into the into the same place again. Although it's not impossible because you've got a little point in the middle. But uh, there's no reason not to finish it. So I'm down to 600 grit there, and um, and then I'll just put a little bit of. Uh, abrasive paste on just to give it a, a bit of a shine to finish off that sort of sandy effect. Turn the speed up, work it in there it is. Now I'm marking for the other eye. I'm trying to keep it level and the same size. And I've drawn a little line across on a sort of level from the other eye and then I mark the center of that uh, of where the eye is going to go. Put a little punch mark in there and then I can bring the tail stock up put it on that center mark and that should keep me in the right place. I give myself a, a little guide there with the uh, with the mark to where as to where to uh, cut to. And again, I'm using a um, five eighth inch uh, spindle gouge just to. Uh, Turn that little hollow in. Uh, just checking that it's the same size. It needs to be slightly bigger. And then, uh, there we go. I'm happy that they're okay. So again, put a little centre mark in, which will help when I come to drill it. I think uh, I think there. I, I think the uh, it were a bit rough inside so I just refine it a bit with the chisel again and then I'll sand it again right up to 600 it doesn't take a lot of sanding and again I'll finish it off with some uh, abrasive paste so here I'm just putting a little flat on the bottom so that the uh, the sphere will uh, stand on a uh, on the on a flat surface without rolling away here I'm creating the the beak for the owl uh, I want the beak to be a sort of a triangular shape so uh, so I'm using the belt sander here and I'm creating a little sort of triangle on the end of this piece of um, it's about 10 mil square sapili and then a, a little um, parting tool just to part down and, and create a little dowel behind where the nose is. 
and here I'm using a skew chisel just just to give it a, a better um, a better finish on the back of that uh, well it's actually a beak so just mark where I want the beak to go I'll put a, a little I think it's a five mil hole in there and while I'm at it I'll mark where I'll need the ears and, uh, and I'll drill them all at the same time Okay, for this bit, I'm not going to tell you what this is going to be. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave you guessing because uh, it's an idea I had, and uh, I'm just going to see how it works out. So I've got a, um, I think it's a six mil drill bit here, and I'm drilling down the centre of a, a pale piece of wood. I'm not sure what this wood is. It's something like um, something like maple or something. It is a hardwood. Um, but I'm not sure where it was. It's in, it's in a blank that I've got from somewhere. And um, here, I think I've got these in the wrong order a little bit, but uh, but bear with me. So here I've got a piece of sapili, and I'm turning it down. Uh, oh, it was seven mil. I'm turning it down to the same size of the as the hole that I drilled through that blank. So. Um, so I use the um, the spanner to get uh, get down to the size that I uh, to show me the seven mil that I need to get down to, and then I'm using the spanner again just to uh, just to make sure it's the same width or diameter the whole way down. Really easy way of making a dowel. I'm just parting the end off, and I'll put a little slope on the end so it uh, so it goes into the hole easier. A bit of CA glue on the dowel, and pop it into the hole. Hammer it down quickly, so you don't want it setting halfway down. Hammer it in quickly. And now I'm going to turn the whole thing to uh, to round. So it's a piece of um, pale coloured uh, wood on the blank and a piece of darker sapili in the centre. And I'm using the spanner again because I want the diameter of both of these things that I'm making uh, to be exactly the same. So the spanner guarantees that uh, that that's the same diameter because uh, I don't want to, I'm going to be making two pieces out of this, and I don't want one to be bigger than the other. Here you might be able to, if you haven't already, <laughs> guess what this is going to be. Uh, so I'm just turning the end, putting a little round on the end. Again, I want to get them, get the, t the two that I'm making the same dimensions. So just use the uh, calipers there just to give me an idea of the thickness I want it to be. And then the parting tool just to uh, start off that uh, where the uh, dowel's going to be. You see the little green thing down there, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell. So I sand down to 400 Add a little bit of um, abrasive paste. Give it a little bit of a shine. Uh, 
and then I'm going to create a dowel at the back of it so that it'll fit into the hole that I've previously drilled. And I don't think there's going to be any surprises here when I say that uh, this is a, an eye for the, uh, for the little uh, chap that I'm making. Again, part it off. And there it is. Quite effective and really simple, and I've probably got enough there to, to do another uh, oh, another half a dozen eyes at least. Here I've got a piece of leather. I've made it into a sort of a, uh, um, a sort of a diamond shape. This didn't work out quite as well as I would have wanted it with the edges of the leather showing white and then I, I sort of coloured it in but it all looked a bit messy and uh, and the CA glue seemed to have a um, some kind of reaction with the um, with the face of the leather and it, uh, it sort of took some of the colour off and it all went a bit odd but uh, so it wasn't quite as good as I uh, as I'd hoped for but uh, But there you go. I think it, in future I would just use the one piece of leather and leave it to natural uh, on one side and not bother uh, attaching two pieces together. But as I say, this uh, we live and learn, and uh, I'd, I'd do it. I'd do it different on the next one. You can see there; it just all looks a little bit scrappy. So there, put some glue in for the beak, a little triangular piece of wood. That looks, uh, I'm not quite pleased with that. And then I've got the eyes. Pop those in. There you go, and hopefully, you can see from this, he's, he's supposed to be a little owl, but... Uh, <laughs> Okay, here I've turned uh, another sphere out of oak and uh, going through the same process. Oop, there it, pop, it pops out. <laughs> You've got to make sure that, uh, that it goes in nice and tight. This sphere is slightly smaller than the last one, so I've put a, um, a non slip um, cloth behind it just to, uh, just to hold it into place. And there I can finish off the eye socket. Same process again. Put a little point in there, sand it up to 600. Knock the camera. <laughs> Pop a bit of abrasive paste on. And then here I've got, uh, I've already marked up where the other eyes, eye socket's going. Bring the tailstock up, give it a little tap in, and then uh, I know I'm going to be in the right place to start uh, doing the uh, eye socket. Again, use the calipers just to make sure I get the same dimensions. I'm using a round nose scraper there. It's a, what is it, a three quarter inch round nose scraper. Just get the socket the same size as the other one. That looks okay. Little point in the center for drilling. And again, sand it down to 600. Apply some abrasive paste. Once 
wipe off the excess and there you have it two eye sockets here I'm making um, eyes for the uh, for the oak one just round off the tip this is a bit of sapeli again it's a uh, it's it's the same stuff as I used on the uh, on the owl use the uh, spanner trick again it's a 5mm spanner it's a really quick way of making these little eyes it really doesn't take any time at all sand to 600 abrasive paste and then a parting tool to part it off with a little uh, little chamfer at the end just to make it easier to pop it into the hole use the uh, same size drill as the as the uh, spanner that I had some CA glue pop them in the holes I got a little bit of spill out so I just wipe off any over spill here's the nose I forgot to film this but I've just made it slightly larger than the eyes a bit rounder pop that on and then the ears I've cut the little pieces of leather already I've cut little round pieces and then a <clears throat> and then a, a sort of piece sticking out that I can fit into the hole and these work much better than the uh, than the previous one on the owl so there we have it uh, I made another sphere out of uh, oak but the original sphere with um, a spiely I've, uh, I've made into a, a little owl which I think uh, a few people probably guessed and what definitely did uh, uh, so I made a little sort of a bit sort of triangular shaped nose uh, filing it on the, uh, on the on the grinder and uh, and the eyes um, I did it that way because um, just with the dark wood it wouldn't have contrasted enough against the um, against the Sapili, so I thought, well, I'll try something a bit different, and I think that's quite effective for uh, for eyes. They do look a bit boggly, but uh, the ears didn't quite work out as well as I th I'd hoped. But um, but well, they're, they're okay, they're okay. And I put a little flat on the bottom just to uh, just to sit it down. And the other one, uh, actually, I think probably more successful um, is the little one I did in oak and. Um, and two little um, um, dark wood eyes and a nose that protrudes a little bit more than the eyes and uh, and the ears I think the ears work a lot better little round ones and uh, he looks quite cute again he's got a flat on the bottom so it sits sits nicely uh, on a level surface <laughs> um, so yeah um, <laughs> I'm not going to say a simple little project because it's a bit fiddly um, but it's a, a fun little project and once you've made a sphere you can uh, you can do these extra bits relatively easily and uh, the, the eyes and the nose yeah I mean you could use plastic eyes if you wanted and uh, and the ears are just a bit of leather uh, cut, cut to shape and uh, glued in with a four mil hole in the uh, in there so uh, yeah and both both a little bit different but uh, both good fun to make and, uh, and funny little characters anyway that's enough of me waffling on um, so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did give it that thumbs up wherever it is somewhere along there and um, and share and, uh, and if you haven't subscribed if you could subscribe that'd be great um, it's still moving along nicely so uh, let's keep it going and um, and please leave a comment I'm catching up with the comments again hopefully by the time I've released this I'll have almost caught up and I can start again but uh, but I do enjoy getting them and uh, there's a lot of um, regular um, watchers uh, YouTube friends that um, that comment and uh, yeah that's really nice anyway from a 
it says the sun's out now but this more <laughs> not a few minutes ago it, the heavens opened up and it was uh, it was wet through and windy and um, and now the sun shines but uh, but not not long enough to get the grass cut so I'll have to wait till next weekend now <laughs> um, so from a, a variable Cornwall my name's Andy Paramore this is Andy's Cornish Creations and I uh, hope you enjoyed this one but I'll see you on the next one goodbye I'll put some pictures up at the end as well <laughs>